everybody welcome back to my channel my name is foxy and this is foxy books and planning welcome to another edition of them paint along um this is the january 2020 edition um i'm not quite certain what i'm going to be talking about right yet but we'll get into it then um just a little update from previous time in paint alongs apologies for not posting december um, I did film it, but it, when I watched it back, it came off as more of just like a disconnected rambling as opposed to a coherent video, so I didn't want to post that kind of not quality content for you all. Um, and in addition, I did finish the owl that I was working on in November, just in time for Christmas and my mom. Um, I will include now a picture of the finished product and a picture, if I can find it, of the of the waste boat. Um, that was a really fun picture to do. Um, however, I ended up doing basically everything from the below the owl's face to the bottom, so the lower two thirds of the picture, in about three day, four days, a week maybe. Um, doing basically nothing but working on the picture and while I enjoyed it I found that I had a lot more issues with the drills this time in that one than I did in my previous Diamond Art Club um, and I think it has something to do with the specific colors that were being used something that I've discovered is that the colors that get made in larger batches tend to have more quality problems than the colors that aren't normally made in large batches so like the three tens always have a lot of issues but that's because most paintings have 310 and a lot of paintings have a lot of 310 um, but specifically I have the most problems with 360 364 or 3860 3864 um, and then 823 820 and 8 and 310 um, as you can see if I can find my my tub if I can't I will demonstrate on my current paint pictures tub was once I was done with the owl the tub was mostly full and this entire little nozzle section was completely filled with wax so this that owl painting took a lot of had a lot of crud drills in it and it had a lot of wax usage um but overall I enjoyed doing the painting um but I wouldn't do that one again if I could help it so now on to this one. So this is the Witcher picture that I kitted up in my diamond paint lawn in October. I think it was October. Um, but I just started this one. I'm just barely at the top. So I'm going to see if I can zoom you all in without too much noise issue um, to work on the top parts of this. Um, and we'll get talking about some stuff. I'm thinking I'm going to be t doing a discussion about New Year's resolutions and goals and things. Um, but I do also have a goals video that you all can check out where I talk about my goals from 2019 and how I did and what goals I'm setting for myself in 2020. So with that, quick and jump cut while I rejig my surroundings to make it more conducive to diamond painting and we'll get into this. Alright, so this is the section I'm currently working on. I am working on it on a slant, so this is a 100 centimeter long by 55 centimeter wide piece. And I could do it like I'm currently working on my London Bridge piece by doing it sideways. Um, but with this one, I looked at the um, words. The symbols and figured out that I wasn't going to really have a problem doing it this way at least for now to get it started and it this was also the easiest way because my light barn so this is my bigger piece of paper and my light board is almost exactly the width I need to do this entire section it is still my normal six um, Still norm my normal six line sections, but they're not, they're just much larger because I normally do it, the wax, or the papers aren't normally this wide. Anyway, so New Year's. Um, little catch up, I had a pretty quiet New 
Christmas and New Year's. I actually didn't do anything for New Year's. I did go over to a friend's house New Year's Eve to do some board gaming. Um, but we didn't stay till midnight. We didn't stay up. And we never really do plan to stay up because normally my significant other is either working. Apologies for the soda. Is normally either working or coming off of a shift those two days. And he didn't, he made a conscious decision not to work New Year's Eve this year, which was nice. So he went to game night with us and was my designated driver. But um, he was working New Year's Day, so we couldn't stay up too late because he had to be up early for a ship the next day. Um, so, as is tradition in the Western world, or maybe the world in general, um, New Year's is a time of reflection and resolution and goal setting so that we can be the best people that we can be. And normally I would make a bunch of resolutions that as the um, cliche joke goes, normally die the second or third week of January. Maybe they may get to February, who knows. Um, but normally the resolutions last a couple of weeks and then I just, they either lose steam or I become disinterested. And I end up kind of redoing my goals in July to be like, okay, so the January goals didn't work out. Let's see what I can do the last six months of the year. Um, this year I tried to do more um, SMART goals. And by SMART goals, I mean the ones you hear about in corporate America, where the goal is to have them be measurable, attainable, timely, and reasonable. I forget what the S is. I'll look up the acronym and throw myself a sarcastic comment. But the general idea is that to drill down on the like really overarching goals. So one of the examples in corporate America is that I would like to be more proficient at Microsoft Office per se. And so that might be your goal, but that, or that might be what you want to do, but that's not a very reasonable goal. It's not a measurable goal. And it's not specific. That's what the S is. Specific, measurable, attainable, timely, and maybe I have one of the other ones wrong. I don't know. I'll throw up what the actual SMART acronym is. Um, but... Anyway, so I've tried applying that to myself this year just to see if I'm more success successful with the goals this year. So the goals this year are to exercise three times a week, um, ensure the kitchen is cleaned every other day, um, and the way we did that was that the stove must be cleaned, must be considered clean every two days. So if we have a night where we make a huge meal or do a lot of meal prep and we just can't be bothered to clean, we can let it sit. But the next day we have to get up and clean the kitchen. Uh, exercise three times a week for at least three months. Um and stick to my main YouTube schedule, which for those of you who are new, welcome. Um, but my current upload schedule is, I'm, I normally get this video out on the 15th, but I had a little snafu, so I didn't, I'm not even filming this until after the 15th, but I'll get it up as quickly as possible after that. Come here. And um, stick to the goals that I outline in the 
um, goals video from earlier this month, which at least that pertain to diamond painting are finish more paintings, only work on existing projects, so I'm not allowed to buy anything new, even though I have my eye on a new Diamond Art Club picture that was revealed this week, and I was like, I must have this. Must have this. Even though it's like, eh, it's cool, but is it really that special and different? Probably not, but it's cool. I probably would have pre-ordered it today, except I discovered that the way they do pre-orders, so though, Time and Art Club has this reward system. And it's a pretty standard tiered reward system where there are different diamond levels based on your spending and whatnot. And so in that system, I am considered a Sapphire member, which means I spent more than $100 last year, I believe. I don't know. I only made one order from Diamond Art Club last year, and it was $127, and I am somehow a Sapphire member. Um, but they do pre-sales of their new, or early access sales is what I should say, for their newer pictures. Um, but they are only for the Ruby and Diamond tier people, who are the ones who spend $500 to... 500 plus a year on Diamond Art Club paintings, which I'm like, I like this hobby. I really do. But $500 on Diamond Art Club to $1,000 on Diamond Art Club a year? What? But it's not me. It's not my money. It's not my business. Um, but yeah, so I went to look to see if I could pick it up as part of the pre sale. And they were like, no, you aren't whale enough to purchase this. Right now, you'll have to wait till Monday, which is probably better because Monday will probably roll around and I start a new job and everything's super exciting. And probably when I get there on Monday, I probably won't remember the picture exists. And I'll, if I do, I'll look it up and I'll look at the price and be like, yeah, no, I'm good. Also, I will say with this, this picture, so I've just started it. Like, you can see, I've literally just started. This is my first section. Dang it, light board. Um, but I'm already really happy with the quality of these drills. I don't have a single thing popping up. I don't have a single thing kind of off-center. So far, it's just been great. Absolutely great. But anyway. Um, but yeah, so I only have two goals this year for part, as part of New Year's. I didn't feel like doing that. Or no, I guess I have three because my third is get out of debt. When I'm almost done, as soon as my car loan, the bank that holds my car loan accepts my car loan payment. But after that, we have my spouse's credit card, or not credit card, we have his car loan to pay off next. But it's small, and we should have it paid off in about six months, probably less. But I'm really excited about getting that paid off soon. Um, but, yeah, we both agreed not to do too many resolutions or, like, try to do, like, the lose weight healthy eating thing at the beginning of the year. Because we were just like, we don't have time or energy to do that. Um, my spouse did buy a new mountain bike with some of his Christmas money. Because he wanted to get out on his bike more and exercise more. That was kind of like his personal goal. It wasn't a household goal. The only household goal was the cleaning the kitchen. Which we've been doing okay with. We kind of fell off the boat late this week. Because we've both been busy because he's been on night shift and I've been doing evening activities. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just looking to see if I missed any of that particular symbol. Nope. Okay, okay. Okay. Hey. 
But yeah, so we're not doing that much in you can kind of neither of us are a big fan of this New Year's resolution thing or like the stereotype that everybody has to it's the new year, new you, completely revamp yourself. And it's like, eh. instead of trying to constantly revamp yourself, maybe we should focus on just maybe we should focus on being better all year round, not just at the beginning of the year, because Pop culture tells us the beginning of the year is the time to reinvent yourself and be a better person. And we really do live like that. Where I'll, my spouse isn't really big into a lot of holidays or corporate things. And he refuses to do some things because they're too corporate. Like a complete hipster. But it's okay. I love the man. Um, in terms of the channel, the channel's doing okay. It's not, it's, it's my hobby and I never expected to do, to be a huge, amazing YouTuber overnight. I never really expect to ever get monetized or even really make money off of this channel. This is just for me to sit down and connect with people about things that I like, that I know other people like. Seriously? I got that out for one thing? Jeez. Um, but yeah, so th this channel is just for fun for me. So while I do, while I am trying to diversify my postings and film more videos and get better at editing and provide engaging content, it's not the end of the world to me if this channel never takes off. I'm just like the world's micro is micro YouTuber. That is okay. So let's see. Um, do comment down below because I'm curious to see what y'all's resolutions are. If you have any diamond painting specific resolutions or what. And for a little bit of time, I'm just going to focus on kind of trying to get some drilling done. Um, see if I can think of something to talk about. Sometimes these are hard to do because it's like, well, what do I talk about this time? I guess, let's see. So I told you about our, mine and my significant other's New Year's resolutions. I guess our other big one is the, so we aren't married yet. We are engaged, affianced, whatever. And one of his provisions, well, actually one of the provisions of us getting married is that we have to be out of debt, both of us. So we've been working on that for about four months now, um, doing kind of a Dave Ramsey-ish But that's because at that, um, so I'm an avid listener of Dave Ramsey. I try and do the Dave Ramsey plan. Um, but my significant other and I do share finances, especially for the house. And um, he doesn't want to enter married life with debt. So we're trying to pay off all of our debts as quickly as possible using the debt snowball method and budgeting. Um, at first, he wasn't super into the budgeting. He kind of just was like, why do I need to do this? And when I sat down and walked him through it, and he was like, oh, okay, because 
one of the things the Dave Ramsey's um, financial piece talks about is that um, there are two kinds of people in every relationship when it comes to money. There's the nerd and the free spirit. And in our relationship, I am the nerd and he is the free spirit. And that I will do Excel spreadsheets for fun. I graphs, pivot tables, charts, st basic statistics to show him how much money we're bringing in, where all the money is going, where we can cut back, what our budget should look like, what our ideal spending should look like. When we'll be out of debt, that kind of stuff. And he just kind of, his eyes glaze over and he smiles and nods and goes, uh-huh, whatever you want, honey, whatever you want. So um, last week we actually started doing Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University um, online, self-paced. And he wasn't really keen on doing it because he was just kind of like, well, now I'm going to have to sit through all this stuff and I know this stuff already. And fudge. when we sat down and I actually watched it because I had actually already watched the baby or the baby step one introduction, um, Dave Ramsey talk part. And I was watching his reactions and he was like, oh, I see why you like this guy. This makes sense now. We should definitely work on this. And we ended up having a really good conversation after we finished the lesson about budgeting and how our budget could tighten up and how budget meetings should go, et cetera, et cetera. And that we probably should go back originally when we first tried to do this back in last July. We, we, <laughs> we were successful for about two weeks and then life got crazy and then we were no longer successful at it. But the first time we tried it, uh, we did a version of the envelope system where I was paying cash for groceries, personal care, basically everything that wasn't a utility. Because as Dave Ramsey says, that money hurts a whole lot more when you have to, you know, fork over cash for it. So he agreed to try doing cash envelopes again, especially for groceries and for our fund money. So we're going to try that for February because we don't have a budget for January. And when I'm doing the financial analyses, it shows. Um, but it, doing the analyses actually showed me some really interesting things about our finances and the breakdowns of what we spend money on. And I, uh, I think we have a budget meeting scheduled next week, maybe? I'm going to try and have it next week because we'll be coming up on the end of the month at that point and we will have received all of our money for the month. Um, but I think if we can really dial in the budget, then it will get out of debt super quick. Um, so there's that. All right, I'm just going to drill for a minute while I think. So this might speed up, it might not, we'll see.
So I'm going to end here today since I can't think of anything else to say, and it'll just be a shorter than normal diamond paint along. Hopefully I'll have more to say in February. Um, this video will go up right before Valentine's Day next month, so it should, or right after Valentine's Day, so it should be an interesting one. Um, please remember to hit that like button and that subscribe button, and I will see, please comment down below. I'd love to talk to y'all, have more of a community conversation go on, and with that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video.